All right, so today we are going to be working on uh, carpal tunnel syndrome. Um, a lot of times you're diagnosed with carpal tunnel syndrome and you feel like your only option is to have surgery. And, well, sometimes that's true. It's not always true. So what are some things that we could do in a um, less invasive way that we could try to make you feel better sooner? So I have a patient that's letting us film today and we're going to keep her off camera, but do I have your permission to film you today? Yes. All right. Thank you so much. So we're going to start with your foil. And we already talked about this bruise is don't worry about her. She had blood work done yesterday. Um, sometimes that blood work just leaves a little, little bruise. So when I do carpal tunnel work, even though most of the time the patient's feeling things down here, and then in this pa patient's um, situation, um, kind of a lot in the finger, um, we start to address that actually all the way up at the shoulder, and then the elbow, we go right here to this area right here, and then we're gonna do a lot of work in here, and then in the wrist as well. So we just trace that nerve all the way from the cervical spine all the way down to the very end, okay? So, we take this patient through a range of motion just like we do on the other patients and we apply pressure and take that muscle through its range of motion. In this case, the job of this is pronation. How am I doing on a pain scale? That last one popped on us a little. You're grimacing a little. You want to back <laughs> off a little bit? No, it's fine. Okay. So we go through that pronation. Now we're going to go through and do the long um, muscles that run through and into the fingertips. So if you notice on the back of your hand, you'll see the tendons that come from this muscle and then go down into your fingertips. So we're going to work on those muscle bellies. Just get you one down. and then I'll have you bring the wrist back and push it down toward the floor. Gets a little rough here. And back, and down toward the floor. And back, and down. And back, and down. Good, and relax. Are you breathing? Are you I'm relaxed I'm in your shoulder? <laughs> Stay relaxed while we work. I know it's intense. This can relax this elbow. Now we're going to move in to the wrist here. In the wrist, you have a whole bunch of tiny bones. And so those bones can actually become tied together, glued together, so to speak, by all of the typing and such that we do these days. So here we have all these tendons trying to come into this very little space and then branch back out into the fingertips. And so it stands to reason if these are glued together, that's not going to function very well. And the nerves are needing to come down. So we have a lot happening through this wrist and we really just need to open that up. There's a wrist band called the retinaculum and it holds all those bones together. And so what we're going to do is actually just go through this wrist and stretch it out and stretch out the retinaculum. And then that opens that up for all of those things to work. Okay. How's the pressure? Good. Ooh, got a little pop there. Mm -hmm. The next thing I'm going to do, this muscle right here is the thenar muscle. It's a big muscle for the hand really, so we're going to work on that muscle and make sure that its tendon source is really stretched out. Since this is the finger that bothers her, we're going to work this finger very specifically. So she's going to draw that finger kind of up, which is going to make this pronounced. If you can see, 
you can see how that tendon's coming down, okay? So go here, pull back, and now take that finger to the palm. Excellent. It kind of ran away, go ahead. Ah, can you feel it bumping off? Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yay. There we got it. And then wrist, we can put it down too. Ooh, that turned up. <laughs> that was the volume up, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Like, whoa. All right, hold that up. Let's do that again. And then wrist. Good. And relax. Open that up. Then I go to each little joint. Try to turn it that way. So we're going to work this little joint and then this little joint. I think I can see if the camera can see. Got the pop. You know I love the pop. Oh yeah. And then I'm actually gonna come here and see if that elbow needs to move just a little. It doesn't. We've actually been working on her for quite some time, and fortunately, she's almost kind of down to you don't have much going on down here at all, do you? Not much. So, she let me work on it today so I could show you guys, but proof is in the pudding because she did report today that it really doesn't bother her very much. So, you guys have a great day. If you have questions, hit me up on my email. Thanks. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching. Please, please hit that like and subscribe button. And I look forward to seeing you on future videos. Have a great day.